The 3-in-1 Smart Car and IoT Learning Kit from SunFounder is a hands-on, all-included electronics kit that is perfect for anyone who wants to learn how to master the Arduino. The kit comes with an Arduino, 22 different sensors and modules, breadboards, jumper wires, and everything else you need to build a bunch of fun and interesting projects. Learn about robotics by building a remote-controlled smart car that can be controlled with an infrared remote controller. Or drive on its own and avoid obstacles or fall on a line. Learn about the Internet of Things with a project that lets you monitor the temperature, humidity, and light level of a room from an app on your smartphone. And build a plant monitor that tracks the temperature, humidity, light intensity, and soil moisture displays it on your smartphone so you can keep your plants watered remotely. It's a super cool kit and I had lots of fun building all the projects in it. So click the link in the description below to order the kit from SunFounder. In this video, we're going to learn about logical operators. Logical operators are expressions that give you another element of control over the flow of your program. You'll probably use logical operators in the conditions of if and while statements. We'll be talking about the three most common logical operators in this video, and, or, and not. There are others, but they aren't used that frequently in Arduino sketches. The and logical operator evaluates two variables and returns a true value only when both variables are true. It's written with two ampersands. The easiest way to visualize logical operations is with the truth table. This truth table for the AND operator shows how it works. Say we have two variables, x and y. If x is true and y is false, the outcome of the AND operator is false. Similarly, if x is false and y is true, the outcome is false. If both x and y are false, the outcome is also false. Only if both x and y are true does the outcome of AND become true. So how can we use this? Logical operators are really useful in conditional statements and loops. For example, if you want to make an if statement that only runs when two variables are less than 5, you could write the condition like this. If x less than 5 and y less than 5. This condition will only be true when both of these are true. You can have as many AND operators in a condition as you want. The IF statement will only execute when all of them are true. Sometimes AND operators can be used to replace nested IF statements. With AND operators, you can put all of your tests in one condition, rather than multiple IF statements with multiple conditions. Now let's look at the OR logical operator. The OR operator is written with two vertical bars. The vertical bar key is usually found right above the ENTER key on most keyboards. With the OR operator, if any of the variables is true, the outcome will be true. So if x is true and y is false, the outcome will be true. If x is false and y is true, the outcome will still be true. If both x and y are true, the outcome will also be true. But if both x and y are false, the outcome will be false. It only takes one or both of the variables to be true for the outcome to be true. So in this example, if we have x less than 5, or y less than 5, the condition will be true if either of these are true. So if x is less than 5, or y is less than 5, the condition will be true and the if statement will be executed. If both x and y are less than 5, the condition will be true as well. You can have as many ors as you want in a conditional statement. As long as at least one of them are true, the if statement will be executed. Now let's look at the not logical operator. 
the NOT operator is written with an exclamation point. The NOT operator makes a true statement false and a false statement true. So NOT true equals false and NOT false equals true. The NOT operator can be used to exclude a number or variable in a condition. For example, if you want an if statement to execute on every value of x except the number 5, you could write the condition as x not equal to 5. This if statement will be executed for every value of x except when x equals 5. The not operator can be used in other places too. It can be used to switch the voltage state of digital pins. You've already seen how to blink an LED with digital write and the delay function. But instead of writing all this, we can use digital write with pin 13 as the first argument. But instead of writing high or low as the second argument, we can use a digital read of pin 13 with the not operator placed in front of it. This way, before writing a high or low signal to pin 13, the Arduino will first read the voltage state of pin 13. If it's high, the digital read function will return a high value. But since we have a not operator in front of it, the argument will be seen as low by digital write, and the pin will be switched to low. The next time through the loop, the digital read function will read a low value from pin 13. But the not operator will change that to high, and the argument in the digital write function becomes high so a high value gets written to pin 13. This makes the LED connected to pin 13 alternate between high and low states, just like it did when we had separate digital writes and delays for high and low. But this way is a lot faster and more efficient. So this will wrap up our discussion of operators. In the next video, we're gonna switch gears and look at a way to organize data in sketches using a useful programming concept called arrays. SunFounder is my go-to source for sensors, modules, and other parts for the Arduino and Raspberry Pi. They have a huge selection of STEM, robotics, and IoT kits, and lots of useful sensors and modules. Every product has an online tutorial with wiring diagrams and example code. They also offer free shipping on all orders, with no minimum. Give them a try at www.sunfounder.com next time you need to order some parts.